Narito ang 7 step kung paano magsimula ng digital business as a beginner. Welcome to the world of digital products. Selling digital products is an excellent way to create a stream of passive income. So let's explore how you can begin and succeed in this business. By the way, if you are new here, my name is Rose Gumera and I create video tutorials on how to make money online. I am an ex-customer support agent bago ako nag-start as a freelance digital marketer or seller. So, in this video, I am going to give you the exact framework on how to grow a passive income online business that has not only worked for me but for thousands of students. So, the step one na gagawin mo is to choose a niche. Ano ba yung niche? This will be the category of products, services, and the market or industry you will promote and center your business around. For example, if you want to promote blenders, you will be in the cooking and kitchen niche. So if you want to promote keto diet, so nasa health niche ka. Okay? And in my case, for example, I'm promoting about making money online. So, I am on the wealth niche. Paano ba pumili ng killer niche? Select a niche that is both profitable and you are passionate about. And then, layer down as much as possible in your niche. For example, in the wealth niche, I am in the make money online niche, more specific sa digital marketing niche, and then more specific sa done for you digital marketing niche. Okay? So, the more targeted you are sa niche mo, the better. Narito ang listahan ng iba pang mga profitable niches na makatulong sa iyo sa pagpili ng niche na gusto mo. Ang health, wealth, electronics, fashion, hobbies, and also the relationship niche. Okay? Pick a niche that you are passionate about at hindi lang dahil sa pera. Because you will get burnt out talking about something you aren't interested in. So, make sure na pinipil mo or pipiliin mong niche ay yung talagang bagay na passionate ka and interesado kang matuto sa bagay na yun. Also, you want to pick a product that has high demand and something you truly believe in. Ito na tayo sa step 2 which is choosing the perfect done-for-you product. So, by the way, sa mga hindi pa po nakakaalam kung ano yung digital products, ang digital products ay uh, products na hindi mo siya nahawakan pero nandyan. ba Gaya ng videos, music, mga templates, mga software, ebooks, online courses, mga presets. So, those are examples of digital products. And, ano naman yung DFY product? Ang um, DFY or done for you products are digital products na ready-made na siya para sa'yo. So, meron siyang maraming klase. Ang um, pinaka the best talaga dito kung pipili ka ng done for you products ay yung merong private label rights na license, at saka yung master resale rights na license. Ano naman yung pinakaiba dun sa dalawa? Ang um, PLR ay um, license where you can edit, modify, change the product, add or edit the product, the landing page, the cover, etc. So, parang sa'yo na din yun, yung products na yun, kasi you have the rights to to modify nga sa product. Yun ang kakandahan kapag private label rights. Kapag naka master resale rights lang or MRR is that hindi mo siya pwedeng i-modify. Pero pwede mo siyang ibenta or i-resell. As is na po yung product or yung file na yun. Wala kang pwedeng baguhin. Whereas sa PLR, pwede mo siyang baguhin and then pwede kang mag-ibenta or i-resell. Sa MRR, hindi mo siya pwedeng baguhin, pero pwede mo din siyang 
a Rizal, okay? Alright, I hope I get myself clear kung ano yung pinakaiba between PLR and MRR. Step 2 is to find a done for your product with private label rights. So, ito yung hanapin mo. Don't worry kung wala ka pang naisip na done for your products. I've already created a done for your products, the faceless digital marketing guide. Just check in the description of this video, okay? So, saan ba maghahanap ng mga done for you digital products? Marami po tayong ano, websites na pwedeng uh, bilhan ng mga done for you products. Uh, Rocket.ph, Etsy, Stan Store, IDPLR, PLR.me, Unstoppable, and marami pang iba guys. You just have to search sa Google. For ito na pong binigay ko na listahan is ito na po talaga yung mga common no na nagbebenta ng mga products na may PLR and MRR. Rocket PH is mostly mga Pinoy po yung mga sellers doon so you can check it out. And meron din pa kong Rocket PH na store. So I'm selling right now ebooks with master resell rights. So if you are interested then you can go ahead and check my Rocket PH store. So next thing na gagawin mo if meron ka nang hanap na PLR product that make it your own, add your own branding or your own voice, take into account who you want your target audience to be as you are modifying or rewriting. So, yun yung kagandaan dun sa PLR na license, no? Pwede mong i-modify at i-rewrite yung buong products. Price your product kung natapos mo na siyang i-modify. Keep in mind that a uh, $97 product sold just once per day is almost $3,000 a month. Mostly, may mga binibenta na mga digital products around $300, $500 and you can sell it sa mas mataas na price basta dagdagan mo lang yung value ng product na yun. Okay? And next step na tayo which is yung step 3 create your own passive income system. So, now you have a niche and a product now, it's time to create your passive income system. If you build this system outright, you will be able to guide your customers to your digital products on autopilot without ever dealing with your customers one-on-one. -on -one. So, hindi mo na kailangan atupagin bawat isa yung customer mo, lalo na kapag na-build mo na yung automated system mo. The system is the most important thing in your business because it works for you. 24-7 and on autopilot. This is what will generate you the money. But more importantly, build out your business for the long term. Hindi kailangan na magiging complicated ang process na ito, no? Hindi mo din kailangan ng complicated na website na hindi man lang mag-convert ng mga visitors mo into buyers. What I am referring to is a sales funnel or a landing page. This is what converts visitors into sales. The best software to do this is the system.io. This is the one that I am using right now. It allows you to create these systems very quickly and you don't need any tech or coding skills. So if you are interested to check out about system.io, I will link down below the special link to create your free account. This system can also be referred to as a landing page, squeeze page, or a lead page. If you are truly serious about building a long-term business, this is an absolute must. The value of your digital product business depends on how many emails you can generate. And building up this system allows you to do that. So, mahalaga na meron kang automated system na ma-set up. Kasi, ito na yung magiging salesperson mo. Imagine that you are in the vacation and then itong automated system mo, ang nagtatrabaho sa'yo kahit ikaw ay natutulog, kumakain, gumagala, ito ang nagtatrabaho para sa'yo, para sa business mo. Because at the end of the day, your digital product business comes down to this. More leads means more income. So that's the formula that got me to build my digital product business from home while taking care of my 2-year-old daughter. So ayun nga guys, if you don't have a digital product to promote, then you can check out my faceless digital marketing guide 
So this is a guide that will teach you in details about digital marketing. You can also check the link in the description of this video. Alright, dito na tayo sa step 4. Choose your traffic source. The lifeblood of your business is generating traffic aka customers. So this is by far the main thing you need to focus on once you get your system set up. So ayun nga guys, step 1 natin kailangan mong maghanap ng niche or yung target audience mo. Step 2 is maghanap ng products na ibebenta mo. Step 3 is i-build na yung automated system mo and step 4 is traffic. Kasi useless na meron kang magandang funnels or magandang sales page, magandang products kung wala namang traffic or wala namang nakakaalam tungkol sa business mo. So I hope you get that point, no? Na meron ka ng magandang tindahan pero nakatago naman ito so walang bibili sa'yo. Kasi hindi mo naman pinapalam, hindi mo pinupromote. This is by far the main thing you need to focus on once you get your system set up. There are so many ways to generate traffic from such as Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest, uh, TikTok, Facebook. But I am going to give you my top ways to build a brand and fast as possible to start generating sales. First option is YouTube. Uh, this is the best platform to start a business and brand. First of all, YouTube is free. And secondly, YouTube videos are searchable. This means you can make videos based on things people are already searching for. But the most important thing to understand about YouTube is your content lasts forever. And this is how and where I started building my brand and business. Dito po talaga sa YouTube guys. I use TubeBuddy to get my videos showing number one on YouTube. So as you can see, I've done a lot of tutorial here about YouTube. And you can watch this uh, video tutorial after this video. You can check my YouTube channel, browse my videos. The second option is building out a search engine website. Extremely cheap to get started and it's perfect for those who don't want to get on camera. So, kung mahilig ka naman mag-vlog or magsulat instead of talking to the camera, instead of doing videos, gaya na ginagawa ko ngayon, then you can start a vlog. Ang kagandaan din kasi sa system.io guys is that meron ka na ding, uh, free website that you can publish your own vlog. That's one of the reason kung bakit din na nagustuhan ko si system.io kasi all-in-one na po talaga siya. And also, you can buy cheap domain names and build out your website for under $5 more or less. Sa name cheap guys, mukha lang po yung domain nila if you will buy. Kahit na naka.com siya, mukha lang dun guys. So you can buy your domain in under like mga more or less 500 pesos. Basta hindi siya abot ng 1,000 guys. So ayun, annual mo siyang babayaran. So ang gagawin mo if you want to start a blog is first is to find or maghanap ka or mag-come out ka na inyong ng pangalan ng website mo. And then, bibilin mo siya sa name chip. Che-check mo siya if available siya. Then, if yes, then you need to buy that domain as early as you can kasi baka maunahin ka ng iba, no? You will integrate it to system.io. Ayan, pwede ka na mag-start ng blogging. By the way guys, even if wala ka pang domain ngayon, hindi ka pa, or hindi mo pa afford, no, na bumili ng domain, then I suggest to create a free account on system.io kasi kahit naka-free account ka pa lang is meron ka ng access dun sa isang feature nila na pwede ka na magkaroon ng blogs. From there, you can create or you can start creating your blog post. The third option is TikTok. So, I have never seen anything like this since Instagram back in 2011. So, sumikat yung si TikTok during sa pandemic times. That was 2020, 2021. So, akala natin no, pag TikTok, it's more on dance-dance lang, sayo-sayo lang, pagandahan lang. But it's not. You can promote your business on TikTok as well. So, ako ngayon is that kakastart ko lang no na gumawa ng mga content sa aking TikTok account. And I will share it with you sa channel na to, anong nangyari sa TikTok ko, no? 
because I am experimenting right now. The fourth option is the Instagram marketing. Instagram marketing is the practice of using Instagram to grow your brand awareness, audience, leads, and sales as the most used social media platform for people ages 16 to 34 years old. Instagram is a highly effective marketing platform for brands, entrepreneurs, and creators. Instagram right now is maganda siya guys, especially if you are an um, introverted type of person, no? You can create faceless content on Instagram and also promote your products. Instagram marketing is isa din po ito sa ini-explore ko ngayon yung faceless digital marketing on Instagram. I just revamp my Instagram, no? Ini-optimize ko yung aking Instagram profile for faceless digital marketing. And the fifth option for those looking to gain an edge in online advertising, there's no better place to start than Facebook advertising. So if may budget ka naman po, then you can start on Facebook ads. But for me, if you are just really um, starting as a beginner, like wala ka talagang budget for running a Facebook ads, then I highly recommend to choose at least two social media platform to focus on your organic marketing no, para i-promote yung products mo. I can advise kung alin yung much better, no? Kasi depende na yan, kasi yan sa lifestyle mo, sa mga content na gagawin mo. Kasi kung mahilig kang gumawa ng mga long-form video and tutorial video, I highly suggest na mag-YouTube ka. If mahilig ka naman sa mga short-form videos, mga reels, then you can choose between Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook reels. So, pili ka lang po muna dyan, at least two, no? Yung isa is yung main platform mo, and then yung pangalawa is yung uh, distribution platform mo. So, step five, create a consistent content. This is the simplest step, but most fail here. Kasi mahirap talaga magiging consistent. Uh, sinasabi ko sa iyo, sa ngayon pa lang, especially if mami ka na, Especially if mayroon kang full-time job. Especially if marami kang ginagawa sa buhay outside of your online side hustle. Uh, isa sa pinakamahalagang aspect no, kung mag ka ng digital product business mo. Content. Lalo na if you will go on organic marketing. Mahalagang may content ka talaga. Because you already did the hard part of creating the system. Picking a platform and learning the business, but the hard part is staying consistent and trusting in the process. I give you the exact blueprint on how I went from zero to hero, however, that doesn't mean you are going to get the same results in the same time frame. So, it's important to understand your journey will be different from mine, but you need to trust in the process and start creating content. At this point, this is all you need to be focusing on or else, your business will die. So, what type of content should you be creating? So, this is the most common question I get. Here is my exact framework no matter which traffic platform you choose. First step is to find at least 10 people in your exact same niche and follow them. Find their top 10 to 20 performing pieces of content. It doesn't matter if it's YouTube, TikTok, or blog. Recreate, model that content. I want you to remake the same piece of content but with your own twist. The important thing to note is to look at the hook, story, and offer. Meaning, look at how they are getting the attention of their target audience and I want you to do the same. Step 4, rinse and repeat. So, yan po ay aking framework and most will not follow this but Please trust me, it works talaga, lalo na if wala kang idea kung anong content ang gagawin mo. Step 6 is building your email list. The most important asset in your business is your email list. So hands down po talaga ako dito guys, no questions. So this is my secret on how I get sales in my digital product business, building my email list. The reason is, you own it. Unlike kasi sa YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook, you actually, hindi mo kasi pagmamayari yung mga audience mo doon. Kasi maya-maya, nagbabago ang algorithm nila, so wala kang control. Maliban na lang if you build your email list, and if 
you were to lose your social media for whatever reason, you can still reach out to your customers via your email list. Ito talaga lagi mo iisipin na i-build yung email list mo. Plus, having an email list is the closest thing you can have to printing money. I can send an email to my list and make money. Simple as that. So, more emails, more income. One of my favorite ways to build an email list is by giving out a lead magnet. Just like this one. The one that I am discussing for you right now is my lead magnet. Which simply means you are trading something of value for an email. Now, for example, um, if you want to get the PDF copy of this file, this um, what we are discussing right now then you can check the link in the description of this video so it's a small example ng lead magnet is ito nga ebook a free report a case study or a free course i build up my email list with system.io which allows me to send emails but more importantly automate my business step seven is the scaling and retargeting so far we have just talked about free traffic and creating a business and brand through social media platforms however there is also paid traffic which is traffic you control meaning you can drive as much traffic as you want as long as you are willing to pay so if you are ready to scale your business with paid traffic you can start growing at an exponential rate if you know how to run paid ads like Facebook ads, Google search ads, YouTube ads, TikTok ads, and marami pang iba. Kailangan mo din itong arali, no? hindi po talaga magic ang pagkakaroon ng digital business. Kasi marami kang dapat na aralin. And the good thing is, marami din namang mga tutorial sa YouTube. And for now, marami ka na ding mahanap ng mga coaches and mentors sa iba't ibang topic na ito. I personally believe in this framework process so much. I know for a fact that if I lost everything I had today, my YouTube channel, my TikTok, my Facebook, my Instagram, and even my email list, I could get it back again by following this seven-step process. So if you want to get the copy of this ebook, by the way, this is free. If you want to get the PDF copy, just check the description of this video. And I thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you trusting me as a source of knowledge and guidance on your journey into exciting world of selling digital products. And also don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video.